In this video, I want to show you the super cool website that I found where you guys can take your long form videos and convert them into short form clips. First things first, you want to go over to submagic.co. So once you create an account, you want to go over to where it says magic clips, go ahead and click on that. And it takes you to this page where you can actually paste a YouTube link or your own video. So you can drag and drop specific videos that you've already exported. But let's say you are already on YouTube or your videos are already on YouTube and you don't want to download them and then upload them. That's just double the work. So what we're going to do is we're gonna go over to Mr. Beast YouTube channel just for the sake of the tutorial. I'm gonna go ahead and right click and go to copy link address and then I'm gonna go ahead and paste it and it automatically recognizes the video and it does give you a little disclaimer saying using videos you don't own may violate copyright laws so just keep that in mind. You can also choose the language so we have English but you can also choose auto so it can automatically detect the language and I'm gonna go ahead and click on upload. It's at 100% now and it's now going to generate the magic clips and the captions. So in a couple of minutes it created four 14 clips and you can see right here so it used the power of AI to do all of this for you so it saves you a significant amount of time so now I'm gonna click on this little edit button and when you click on the edit button it's gonna take you to this page here where you can see different shots of your video so first you have at the top here this kind of a timeline between how long your video is in this case the video with Mr. Beast and Ronaldo is about 22 minutes and in the beginning it shows you what it picked up from the video in this case the Tom Brady balloon challenge and then the other one is the home run derby challenge and then Ronaldo's so uh, soccer target challenge. So if you want to go to a specific point in the video, just click on it. It's going to take you directly to the video here. You can, you know, change the caption style, the themes and all of this by choosing a different one, like maybe this one. So if I push play, it'll show you a preview. I'd love for speed to have it. But the kids I'm working for need it more. Oh my God. Choose the, the theme of your captions. I like this one. I'm going to keep everything how it is. But you can go to the style. You can change the captions here. I already made a video on this. If you guys want to watch this a little bit more in depth, just click the link in the description and I show you guys that. And here it does just quickly tell you the AI captions accuracy is 98.96%, which is absolutely amazing, by the way. So when you click on trim, this is going to take you to this page where you can see the transcript of the entire video. It transcribes the entire video for you, which is 20 two minutes for this video, which is kind of nice. Now here you're going to see the selection. So the selection is a, a minute and 11 seconds long. So this could be maybe a little too long for I think Instagram reels or TikTok. I'm not sure how long you can upload on TikTok. I think it's 60 seconds, but you can change the length on the bottom here. If you see this right here, this is the audio timeline. So if I already push play, what charity do you want me to donate this hundred grand to? I'd love for and you just noticed in the beginning here that it actually detects when there's two people in the shot. So right here, it says two faces. And if you click and drag one of the sliders, you can reposition the first top half of their face in frame with our video, which is absolutely amazing. And the thing is, you don't have to do this in post, right? That would just be a nightmare. So now if I push play, do you want me to donate this hundred grand to? I'd love for speed to have it. So like right here, I mean, if you want to get all of them in the shot, you could easily just leave it like this. And if you go over here, you can show the safe zone, which I always enable. It makes it so that you're actually editing correctly. So you don't cover people's faces too much or anything like that. Anyway, so what I'm going to do is go to right here. And if I push play, but the kids I'm working you can see it goes with each of the words as it's playing through. So right here, maybe you want to remove I'm working for. So you click and drag this area and you can remove it from the selection and it will skip that. So now if I go back and I push play here. But the kids I'm working for need more. Oh my. It doesn't add the caption. So maybe they swear or something, or maybe there's a pause and you want to mute that. You could do something like that if you want. If you want to undo it, just click the undo button. And if I go back here and I click anywhere in here, so you can click on where it says fit. And now this will fit the entire video into the frame. So now if you use the slider, this will allow you to position this on a specific person. You could also clean the audio. So if I click on this, you could remove silences. So you can go where it says remove silence. For this video, I think it's fine. We don't really need to take anything out, but you do have that feature there if you want. You do have filler words, so like um, and, uh, or you could remove filler words so you can have this checked. I have that checked. That's pretty important, especially when you're talking in a podcast or something like that. Once you're happy with this, you can, of course, trim the video down if you want. So maybe you don't want all of this audio. Maybe you only want it to be about 30 seconds or something like that. This does cut also parts of your selection out. So just make sure you have everything aligned how you want it. Now, you also have the option of getting clip manually. So if I click on 
get clip manually. So AI actually creates chapters for you so you can quickly go to a reference point in your video. So underneath transcript, you're gonna see these little chapter bars where it gives you a title. So the first one is like football balloon popping contest with Tom Brady. And then you have the next one, it's called race against the fastest man in the world, home run derby with Bryce Harper, football target challenge with Cristiano Ronaldo. So you can click on this one and this will take you to the Cristiano Ronaldo scene. And then underneath that, you have what they're talking about. So if I push play. Cristiano Ronaldo. So this just makes it way quicker instead of you trying to figure out where in the timeline you, you know, you're talking about that. And you could add this. So if you're happy with this selection, just click this add button and this will add it to the selection. So now we can go and maybe add this one. I think that's good. So right here is about to kick it. So I'm going to add this one and this one and this one because he missed. And then now it's Ronaldo's turn and you can see how long the selection is. So now it's 35 seconds. So now we're going to click on this area here. Okay. So now this will take you to the selection part. So now if I push play. Cristiano Ronaldo. One million dollars lead is going to be going head to head against the ultimate football phenomenon, Cristiano Ronaldo. The thing saying between you and this million dollars in your bank account is Ronaldo. So I think we can cut some of this out and I'll show you guys that. So this doesn't really add to the content. So I'm going to take that out. Him talking about his shirt. Yeah, we don't need that. We'll take that out. I think they're still talking too much between him and Ronaldo. So we're going to take that out. Now it's just going to go straight to the content here. So I'm going to push play right here and I'm going to make this and just leave it how it is. Both of you will be taking shots at the targets on the goal. First to hit three targets wins. So there you go, it goes straight to his shot where he's about to kick it. And now we need to add Ronaldo's turn. So in this case, we're gonna show a scene of Ronaldo kicking the, the soccer ball, so, or football, depending where you're watching this. So he says, okay, I'm gonna click on this word. I'm gonna push play. Okay, let's go. All right, he's about to kick it. So I'm gonna add this. Let's go. Oh, they both missed. Ronaldo, it's your turn. Okay, let's go. I think we're happy with the way this looks so far, but now we're going to change the framing of this. So I'm going to make this this scene a fit. So now we can move the slider over right here, which is where exactly where I want it. Uh, so Mr. Beast actually added text to this video. So that's why you see where it says both missed. That's not part of the sub magic captions. Just FYI. Cristiano Ronaldo. One million dollars lead is going to be going head to head against the ultimate football phenomenon, Cristiano Ronaldo. Both of you will be taking shots at the targets on the goal. First to hit three targets wins. Oh! All right, no targets hit. Ronaldo, it's your turn. Okay, let's go. They both missed, they both missed. So that looks pretty good. I like that shot. So I'm gonna click on create clip and you can change the text. So I'm gonna do, let's see, Ronaldo kick or something like that. And I'm gonna click on create and edit captions. So when I click on create and edit captions, it's going to create the captions for us. So we don't have to do anything else. Literally, it just finished as I was just talking. So now I'm gonna go with Dan because that's my favorite, you know, text. And we're gonna change the position of this so that it's a little bit higher above the username and everything else. So Cristiano Ronaldo. So that looks pretty good, but I'm gonna go ahead and click on export. I'm happy with the clip that we just made and I'm gonna go to quality. You can do a 1080p clip, a 2K clip or a 4K clip. I'm gonna do just standard 1080p, I think that's fine. I'm gonna go ahead and click on export and it just saved our entire video. Now it's going to export and now you can just kick back, relax. So now we're gonna look at what we created in Submagic from taking a YouTube video, which is a pretty long video, it's 22 minutes to a short clip. So I'm gonna go ahead and push play. Cristiano Ronaldo. For $1 million, Khalid is going to be going head to head against the ultimate football phenomenon, Cristiano Ronaldo. Both of you will be taking shots at the targets on the goal. First to hit three targets wins. No targets hit. Ronaldo, it's your turn. Okay, let's go. Oh, they both missed. They both missed. And that looks pretty good, I have to say. So now if you're happy with the results, just click on download and you just downloaded your finished video. So if you guys want to try Sub Magic for yourself, I highly recommend it to any pro creators. If you guys want to try Sub Magic for yourself, visit the link in the description. If you guys want to unlock Magic Clips for yourself, just make sure you have the Sub Magic subscription. Honestly, it's the best for pro creators. Honestly, anyone who just wants to make their workflow significantly faster. But if you guys found this video helpful, a like would be awesome. I hope you guys have
have a great holiday as well. Depending on when you're watching this, it might be even Christmas Eve, but uh, 